But Howard's comments uh, sort of made me think, of, really sort of question the issue of w will the reforms that I think will be spurred by race to the top. I mean, I think there's no question that that you know that amount of, amount of money will, you know, does get people's attention. Um, but will those reforms, in the end, uh, you know, change the system? Because there have been efforts to reform before, and and not to the. I mean, there's a lot more money, but there's been a lot of money. So, um, and I, I, go, I think you use the word political will. And I think it is a question of political will. It's, uh, I was driving home from New York on some day after, I think on Monday, I guess it was, and we were listening to, to public radio uh, for 12 hours. Um, you know, it's in public radio in, in West Virginia is really interesting. Um, <laughs> but it was all about the health care debate. And um, not all 12 hours, but a whole, but a whole bunch of it. And at the end of that, we just sort of, you know, we we, uh, we sort of wondered at the at the at, at, at the end of all this healthcare debate, will we have a different healthcare system? And and I don't, it doesn't feel like we will, in any significant degree. And and that is a matter of political will, I, I think. Um, and then we we began to talk about. You know, you know, our, our 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 ecosystems falling apart, and where is the will to change that? Um, in Atlanta, we've got you know we have no water, and traffic is miserable, and and where is the will to change that? In in the state of Georgia, around education, you know, Georgia is the only state in the union that has no need-based aid for its citizens to go to college. The only state in the union. Um, and meanwhile, we have this this uh, uh, wonderful thing of the of the Hope Scholarship that that private colleges benefit a little bit from, that public colleges benefit a tremendous amount from. That is sending the the you know our sons and daughters to Georgia colleges for free uh, when we can afford to pay for our sons and daughters to go to college by and large. Yet for students who have no, uh, no means to go to college, who are struggling to graduate from the schools that we're talking about, um, many of them can't go because there's no need-based aid in the state of Georgia. And that's a matter of political will. So it, it, um, uh, so I, I'll just I sort of leave it there. I don't, I don't know. Um, it, it does seem to me that. Uh, um, you know there are there are wonderful things about democracies. Uh, there's probably no better way of governing oneself in a democracy. But there are issues in a democracy, and one of the and I think one of the issues that we're facing now as a country is this question of political will around issues which will affect our children and affect our grandchildren. And we don't tend to do anything about it until you know the stock market collapses. Um, and I don't you know. Uh, uh, I have a niece who teaches in New Orleans, who was a TFA teacher in New Orleans. I mean, that system had collapsed long before Katrina came and, and put it under. Um, uh, and it took something like, like Katrina to actually s spur some reform there. And whether, whether that will be lasting reform or not, but at least um, it's better than it was. So I, I don't know what, in this realm, I don't know what a collapsed educational system would look like other than the one we have, because it is collapsed, and yet, it, yet there seems to be not much political will to do anything about it.